Welcome to today's presentation, Short-Term Trading Concepts. The markets radically changed, volatility has increased, allowing us more short-term trades than ever for meaningful returns. And that's what I'm going to guide you through. But before we get there, here a little legal disclaimer. We are not here as brokers or dealers. We are just proposing a concept and with that you cannot take uh, what we give as recommendations, but you can follow the concept and scheme. Our trading instrument that we choose is the MES, the Micro E-Mini Futures Contract. It changed in its margin requirement from an average of $750 that we had for a good period of time to about $1,300 at the time of the recording, showing the change of volatility because you have to see the margin is the overnight requirement if you do not trade with a stop. So that's the max risk imposed by the CME where a trade could go against you. So now we go and look at the chart. We have a combination of uh, the NLT top line and HF signal. Yes, just the dark green HF signal. All the rest what you see on here is uh, the top line. And in addition, you see those trend lines. Those are part of the NLT wave where we try to capture the amplitudes of a wave going to the up and down side and circling around, giving us opportunities and indicating when there is a change in direction. To support our uh, one page write up, uh, explaining how the system works, you'll find here now the indication. So we had the red wave coming down, so we have a first early signal with the HF. If that was taken, which would be allowed with that because you have a change in momentum, red to blue, yeah, so this would build the first base for an entry, yeah, for be taken. Yeah, so we'll take that, we go long, so where is the stop? So the stop uh, is either at the second line of the direction, so green lines go up, red lines go down, or at the NLT box line, the red line down here. Yeah, so now I colored it over with blue. So it was by 2332 and 25 and above, so next candle ticked above it. And what's our target? So our target here on the chart is one spool, and for that trade, when there is not too big of a candle in relation to the spool, we go for two spools. It's about here. Yeah, so there was our target for getting out. So if we didn't get in here, out of whatever reason, because time wasn't right, we weren't willing, so then we see this big candle with buy 2,401 and 50 cents, and that also got ticked out. But here, because we have a relative big candle that's also in the write up, there we go just for one spool. And you say, my, how, how is the risk reward? So at entry it's big, but we again we trail the um, the price move with the red line of the double decker or with the lower green line here. The green line would go up. So that's our trailing line of how we go up. We get to target that was reached here in the scandal and we're out. Yeah, very easy rule. So then you have the next opportunity up here. Yeah, sell 2441. Yeah, here we assume a retracement, but forget it for this trade. We enter here right below that level when it's ticked. Again, we aim for a two spool, or we would be able to trail it. Yeah, so you see here your trailing line would be this line to trail it down, or you could trail along the line with these red two lines here of the lower channel. And so that they got taken out here. So that first one was the momentum change, so we wouldn't take it. But then here, the next trade comes on again for two spool, and we trade to the upside. And so then we have a long environment where we see, okay, green is dominant, so buying is dominant. So there, there would be a trade to potential to the other side but you see one thing we trail already or trade at the lower part of the channel and that's not where we want to be in here yeah? so this would not be a good trade for us to proceed and so here then in the upper part of the channel so again that would be a trade not to proceed because of a purple zone yeah so it's not so easy if you're not educated with nevertheless trading if you went through your education and have those indicators on the chart they definitely will allow you to do very positive trades and make the decision between entering and not entering in a directional price move let me now move the chart a little forward yeah looking here into the next waves here yeah? so the ones which we did discussed first here yeah? purple zone we don't want to get in 
so then you saw okay here no strong directional signals yeah end of purple zone with the power tower and that's what we're gonna go to yeah so we're gonna look at what we're gonna do to participate into the price move and that was here on Friday the 20th into the day and throughout the day and I magnify the view a little so that we have a good overview of what's going on and then we want to take our opportunities for seeing where we had trades so you saw here power tower coming out yeah, and a double signal in a sequence here so end of purple zone and power tower signals those two indicate a potential up move and again the rules are all apply what starts to develop in a light tower likes to end in a light tower so that's the ending light tower and you see then afterwards this trend is over no more long then we have our typical turnaround signal sitting up right here uh, guiding us to the downside and uh, definitely we do our two spoon move or move all the way to the box line and there would have been our exit did it go deeper absolutely but doesn't matter to us so then we have a short recovery but in the red zone so therefore we don't want it here see here all red lines but then we have a turnaround signal here right there uh, aiming for a short for a two spoon move again with the same rules yeah after two spoon move is about concluded here uh, we stop and then here at the end of the day didn't get another entry but you see with clear-cut rules with clear-cut following the overall direction you are able to make high participative trades you see the spoo here on the last bar was uh, 30 throughout the day it was 50 with the two spoo so you're trading for 100 points which can give you a very solid income with a meaningful risk at key price turning points and we want to invite you to come on board and into that and we are looking forward for hearing back from you to reach us you can either call the office at 866-455-4520 or write an email to contact at neverlosttrading.com and we'll go through the individual concepts and what you can do definitely you can use all these indicators for different trades i just gave an example of a trade that is very valid in our today's environment while for a longer period of time we weren't trading that short term but also times change and with that the opportunities change and we want you to participate in those we are looking forward to hearing back from you good trading bye bye